Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls. This episode we are going to be dealing with the... I can't remember what this plant's actually called. I think it's called something like Lower Undeadburg or something like that. Uh, this area we are going to be dealing with one boss. I decided we're actually going to split this up just to prevent it from being so long. I'm aware that uh, previous episodes have been quite long uh, and I apologise for it. I don't knew... well, I am trying to stick to about half an hour where I can. Uh, which probably means that Blight Town will have to be split into two videos. Um... Although I don't tend to like doing that, I usually like to try and get a boss into each episode, but I guess getting down the rafters is a uh, a challenge in and of itself. Uh, nothing else has happened in between, obviously, the last episode and this one. Something worth doing is nipping at these steps, which will unlock a shortcut back to uh, the Undead Burg. Which you'll see here. Obviously we've got enemies through here, so be careful of this. I uh, really don't want too much of this following us down. There we go. Quite adept to killing these at this point. Come on. There we are. Love getting those poke attacks in. Now be careful not to drop off. That was very close. Not to drop off that bit. Because <laughs> that will kill you. Um, that we nearly went very, very badly early on. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. The volume there was probably a little bit too high. Careful these guys as they do. If, well. Every enemy here does, in fact, attempt to inflict bleed. Uh, if bleed procs on you, uh, that's basically a third of your health gone. Uh, a few things we can do about making this area not too bad. First, we want to deal with this dog. Come on. Hello. I wait for you. Here he comes. Right. Uh, the next thing is to find all of the doors. Where are we? That won't open. That doesn't do anything, as uh, breakable as it looks. The ones I'm actually looking for... don't think it's this one, but I'll try it. No. Nope. Uh, you can actually clip your attacks through these doors to get some of them. There we go. And there's another one. Oop. There we go. And then, obviously, what would usually happen is those two would run out at you. Oh, there's in fact a third one down here. There we go. So be careful of them. Uh, these guys are also capable of parrying you, so be careful of that as well. Mailbreaker. Uh, probably the most use useless weapon in the game. I'm not a fan of it at all. It's the only one you get. I really don't know the uh, significance or point of it. Maybe it's some kind of uh, trope that From Software likes to stick to with its weaponry. Uh, I don't think this one does anything. There is a door op along here that opens. It's quite important to us. Somebody! Here we go. Help me. Unlock the door. Now, the key for this, How did this ever happen? is the one that we buy from the merchant above. And now we talk to this dude. Brilliant. You opened the door for me. Thank you. I'm saved. I thought I might never escape. I am <laughs> Griggs of Vinheim, a sorcerer of the school. I am much obliged for your assistance. Thanks to you, I may now resume my travels. Hey, hey. Oh, hello. I'm fine. I will rest a while, then return to Fire Lake Shrine. I have my sorcery. And I will be more cautious next time. <coughs> Besides, I have an important task at hand. Cool. So he's going to move back to Fire Lake Shrine and going to give us some new spells. Oh, hello. Very, very important. No, 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 no. I want the item middle. There we go. Oh. Pillage Corpse. Sorcerer set, if you don't already have it. So, uh, if you didn't start out as a sorcerer, here's where you can start. Come on. Whoa, he came for me. There we go, shoot down. Yeah, be careful of the, uh, the flailing flame attacks around here. These guys can be quite nasty when in large groups. Nope. Stop being naughty. And I believe it's humanity at the end of here. I've got a feeling. Um, damage is ramping up, which is lovely. 149 before resistances. These guys have terrible resistances, so you're really seeing a raw number there. Cool, so with the back area all done and the ambush already sprung, we are free to continue with the area. 
Now they try a similar thing on you here, except for there's a dog, and I think if we just kind of wait, it should just patrol up. Pretty sure. Now, I do feel like there's an intention for it to trap you, uh, although it's never actually done it, I've always spotted it, so. Uh, but on the left here, look, we have a um, kind of like little alleyway. Oh, I thought it was going to power me then. I was getting paranoid. Oh, boom. Get down. Get wrecked. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, in here we've got an item. Just in case something else comes down. There we go. Don't get trapped in there. Here's an item. Thief set. Actually, it's really cool. Quite like the thief set. Uh, particularly good if you want to try and stay with the light armor. But whilst I'm wearing the Havel's ring, uh, really no need in it for now. Now, before you go into the boss fight, uh, this is the Capra Demon. Uh, another kind of minor boss, if you would, but a lot of people get quite frustrated with it. Before you go in there, we're going to turn to the right. We're going to unlock a different shortcut. Um, now, that obvious enemy there that's kind of aggroed on his look and doesn't want to come over should be an obvious sign to you. And he still doesn't want to come over. Why could that be? Oh, hey. Hello. Um, he's really... That, that enemy there is really programmed very well to distract you from noticing this guy. Um, <laughs> I think it was some pretty good... Uh, some pretty good programming there. In my opinion. In terms of its AI, um, you can see the door on the right just here. Uh, this is actually the door that we're going to be using at the beginning of the next episode and leads into the next area. We get that for the de defeating the Capra Demon that we're going to be facing in a minute. Heading on up the stairs, we're going to meet a new merchant. Uh, one that's probably going to take a lot of souls from you. I shall show you why. She has some very, very good things available. Here she is. Melentia, I think. No, not Melentia. Something else. <laughs> Hilarious. So, we have curative mo uh, moss. Feel free to buy some of this if you feel like you need a load of it. Probably should get some more, to be honest, but uh, particularly the toxin one. Uh, other things include charcoal ro and rotten pine resin if you like your poison. Purging stone uh, reduces, which breaks curse, as we were talking about before. Expensive, but uh, at least you know where to get it. We also have humanity available for sale if you happen to be desperate and want to farm for it instead of. Uh, uh, we'll want to farm for souls instead of actually farming for humanity itself. Uh, but all of this looks really, really cool. But the most important thing is uh, poisoned arrows. Expensive, yes. Um, but for a mere like four or five poison arrows, you can poison an enemy at good range. Now, if you can get far enough away that it doesn't do any damage, you can even do that without actually aggroing said enemy. Um, very, very useful. I'm not going to be doing it right now. I'll probably be coming back here when we have access to uh, enemies that drop higher amounts of souls for those. Uh, but very useful to know about nonetheless. So, continue down on this way. We're going to come across some uh, familiar ground. So, we're going to open this. Probably could have pointed this out before, but that is the way into the Undead Burg. So then here we're going to see Mr. Ratty, who has the potential of dropping us some humanity. It would be nice to get one of those. And we did. Excellent. <laughs> Beans have used a fair bit of it up. Uh, obviously we've got our uh, weird dude here that's aggro on us. Yes, yes, yes. At this point, you may notice that we're actually doing that much damage that we're getting more souls out of these guys. You can't remember what the exact formula for it is. Uh, I know you get it for parries and... 
a back steps. But uh, if you go over the health by a certain amount, basically you get some kind of um, bonus to your magic damage. Cool. So then, next up, we're obviously going to take a rest right here. Uh, we can actually talk to the Crestfallen Knight as well, which we'll probably do in a second. Um, but most importantly, we now have a new spell vendor. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we both made it back unscathed. Yep. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? Absolutely. You're really talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I am happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? Absolutely. Do it now. Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Oh, so nice. Right. So now we actually have a selection of things to think about here. Uh, straight up, and the most obvious one that I'm going to be buying is Great Solar. Uh, it's actually Great Heavy Solar, which is the strongest that we can cast. I am not a fan of the cast time that it takes to do the heavier Solaros, but uh, I'm probably not buying them anyway. We've got Magic Weapon. I should probably buy that too. <laughs> Fall Control is actually going to be incredibly useful in the next area, so probably I'm going to end up coming back for that. Oh, and Magic Shield. Wow, there's tons of uh, right. very useful mm -hmm. spells here. Uh, let's have a think about what we want to do. We've got, we've got some of this we can use. So, out of all of the times, this is the one time I would probably advise to uh, go ahead and farm yourself some souls up. Uh, particularly with the uh, the Drake. That should be enough to get us something else as well. Out of the way. Uh, would have liked Magic Shield. Particularly with the boss we're about to go and face. Particularly... Uh, what's the word? Particularly useful. We've also got in here... Uh, the lingering and bellowing dragon crash strings. Now we need to make sure we get both of those before this guy leaves, um, which isn't actually necessarily all that far away. Uh, one of those boosts magic damage, and the other boosts uh, the effects of spells. So both extremely useful. Do not miss out on them. Um, So basically, because we're going into a boss fight, I'm probably going to end up spending these souls. So let's go ahead and get full control. All right. Obviously, I don't need to equip that right now, but uh, worth having nonetheless. Now we need to think about what spells we want to have equipped. Uh, a pretty obvious one is magic weapon. That basically is going to boost. In fact, no, we're not because we've got we, we're using it on the other side. But that will basically boost your uh, your melee damage. Uh, not by a massive amount, so we don't need to be prioritising just yet. So I think probably what I'm going to do is put Great Solar in there. And uh, I probably will demonstrate it uh, once we get in on the boss that it just does significantly more damage than standard Solar. I may even show it on one of these guys on the way through. Let's have a look. So we got 136. I need to, need to try and get this done without blocking. 201. 70 more damage. That's good. Very, very good. Now, of course, the overall damage, like, per attunement slot is a bit not great for us. But, um, wow. His, the way he attacks almost seems like it's just meant to um, make you accidentally fall off rather than actually kill you. But yeah, basically it's just a, a massive increase in DPS, DPS for us, uh, in terms of spells. So we're going to head on back through, we're going to deal with this boss fight. Um, so I think that Dark Souls has merit for, and I guess, I don't know, maybe it was due to, uh, <laughs> due to demand that they actually gave us four ring slots rather than two, but uh, Dark Souls... With only the two ring slots, really makes rings extremely valuable. Um, and obviously, kind of focuses the builds that you create a bit more. All things that I very much like about, uh, about Dark Souls 1. And I do think it's very much to its merit. He's going to try to heal. Okay, that's you down. Come on then. I wonder if he's a female. They have a very feminine look to them. 
Alright, there we go, that's you down. A couple of dogs on the stairs, so be careful of these. They've aggroed already. Are you gonna come around or what? I hate it when they drop down on you. So I do. There we go, look. Come on then. Um, dogs in all Souls games are always the worst enemies. Uh, and they're probably one of the worst things about this boss fight, because there's two of them in there as well. And uh, a magic shield would probably have actually uh, massively helped in here, and I should have thought about bringing that along. But um, it wouldn't work on my shield anyway. In any case, let's get started. Probably going to die in this first attempt if I do. I'll probably just cut to the, uh, the winning scene, as it were. But as soon as you come in, you kind of want to get out of the way of the door. Whoa, I've been stuck already. Oh no, I'm stuck in the corner, I'm stuck in the corner. Terrible, I'm dead. Right, let's get out of the way here. Whoops, that went terribly bad. Damn. Somehow I'm actually still alive. I don't know how I've actually survived this long. Take a quick heal again. Now, the direction you want to go is actually up the stairs. I don't know why it's actually making it so difficult for me to get up there. And along to the end of this. Best place to be. Now he's gone down there. Whoops. Both dogs are down. That makes a massive difference. Ouch. Now then. Things as they are. We'll come up further this way. He's going to do a silly jump attack. And move down there. Do 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 do. Do do do. Now be careful because he can hit you. And I believe he can actually knock you off as well. So. But uh, Great Soul Arrow doing its job for me. You going to do a jump attack? And then Capra Demon goes down. So obviously the... Uh, the main issue with that boss fight is basically the pressure that it puts on you. And obviously we now have the key that we need to continue. Which is good. Before we do so, I think I'm probably going to spend all of these souls on uh, completing our collection of spells from our new friend. Um, and I'm not going to go out of my way to kind of go grinding up 20,000 souls just yet. I just feel like that's a bit crazy. But obviously if you decide that you're not really too bothered about getting the Crest of Artorius, uh, saving those 20,000 souls to get one of those rings from... I uh, can't remember his name. I've already forgotten. But yeah, especially if you want to save it to get those rings. That's all good. And at this point we actually have a pretty solid... Uh, pretty solid sorcerer coming through now. Ah, they've regen regenerated. That's funny. It's you down. It's you down. Take your sword. Poke. Poke. And then poke. Cool. So basically, I'm just going to show you picking up these spells, and then uh, next episode we'll be appearing in front of the door. Come on. Oh, hello. Myself. There we go. Right. Probably should have listened to what he said. In any case, uh, unless you're set solo, it's probably not a bad idea. Just in case. Uh, probably not, not the best things in the world, but um, why not? The only thing I need from there is the Great Hope Solar. And. Two things. That's forty-eight thousand souls needed. Right. May we? Um. Which is <laughs> that's a hundred visits to the Drake, which is uh, pretty hilarious. Let's talk to my friend here. Oh, what a surprise! I didn't expect you to make it. Oh, somebody rang the bell. Wait, was it you? You will never give up, do you? I don't know how you do it. Well, don't stop now. Only one more. But it's going to be suicide. <laughs> I don't think any tr truer words have ever been spoken about any area in Dark Souls. 
Did you see her? That virtuous little maid, complete with followers in tow. They're probably going straight to pillage graves. I've heard enough about the lady for a lifetime. Oh yeah, we're going to talk to those two. What's wrong? Get a bit of a scare out there? No problem. Have a seat and get comfortable. <laughs> You'll both be hollow before you know it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Right, so next up. Oh, not there. Oh yeah, you hear a bit of a dialogue there. A bit of a clue as to what's going to happen when uh, the bells have been rung. And here, this guy's friends have arrived. You are undead as well. We've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? <laughs> By the looks of you, I should think not. I've never actually looked at her face before. Did I not explain the urgent? Okay, she doesn't say anything else. He tells you to stay away from her anyway. Oh, I will be depart so it was So yeah, if there's anything that you want from this guy, get it now. Oh. Basically. Uh, there's nothing that I want, I'm not to bother about miracles. Come again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hmm? What have we you look awful. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you? Dare meet my lady like that? You <laughs> must scare her off for good. <laughs> Bit cocky, aren't you, dude? Right. So that's everybody spoken to, um, and I do really love the uh, the living feeling of the Filing Shrine, the way it kind of progresses through the game. So from here, like I was saying before, there are two choices for you to take. You can either head on down the stairs through Anor Londo, uh, not Anor Londo, New Londo. Uh, or you can take the uh, the beaten path, which is the one that I'm going to be doing for this next area anyway. Uh, we should be more than powerful enough, particularly as we've already done Dark Root Garden as well. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.